We are going to convert and we're going to do two different ways. The first one that we're going to do, we're going to do miles per hour, miles per hour to feet per second. And then I'm going to do an example where we go the other direction. So we're going to go feet per second to miles per hour. Let's do the first one. Number one, um, let's just take 30 miles per hour. And we want to convert that into feet per second. The first thing I do is I think of this as a fraction. So I can go 30 miles in one hour. Once I've got this set up as a fraction, I can go ahead and start to multiply these unit fractions where there's, it's an equivalent. Numerator and denominator are equivalent to get to the units I want. Let's go ahead and tackle the miles first. I know in one mile, there are 5,280 feet. So I can use a fraction with these two, numerator and denominator, and know that it's going to be the same. So I want to cancel uh, miles. So I'm going to put my one mile in the denominator using this equivalence and the 5280 in the numerator. So that's going to be my feet. So right now, miles is canceled and I've got the feet. Okay, feet's done. Now let's go ahead and do the seconds. Um, a couple ways you can do this. You could do that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. You could also combine these two and do in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do them separate. You could combine them as long as you are using one of these equivalents to build the fraction. Um, 5280 feet per hour times that 30, I need to convert the hours next. Let's go ahead and do um, hours in the numerator so I get rid of the hour. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. So the hours cancel. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. Okay, so now the minutes cancel and I am left with, let me grab my red pen, I am left with feet in the numerator, seconds in the denominator. The numbers that I, I, that I am left with are these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my calculator. I need 30 times 50 to 80. I've got the units where I want them at feet and in the denominator, 60 times 60. Again, I've got the units where I want them in seconds. I'm going to do this in my calculator all in one step. So I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around there. Let me grab my calculator, clear what I had here, and then I'll do this in parentheses. Okay, so 30 times 5280 divided by 60 times 60. Um, and it gives me 44, which is a super nice answer. So we end up with 44 feet per second, 44 feet per second. Okay, now let's go the other direction. I'm going to clear this. Now we're going to convert from feet per second to miles per hour. Let's go ahead and take an example. I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I don't know, 50 feet per second. And I want to get miles per hour. So my goal, I'm going to write it over here, is miles in my numerator, hours in my denominator. That's what that miles per hour means. Let's go ahead and put our equivalents in. Let's do the feet and the miles first. 50 to 80 feet in one mile. And let's do the seconds next. I'm going to go ahead and use the fact that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So I've got my two conversion factors there. And as I um, cancel through here, feet cancel, I'm left with miles, check. Seconds cancel, and I'm left with hours, check. The numbers that I'm left with that are going to go into my calculator are the 50, the 3600, those are both in the numerator, and the 5280. Let's go ahead and put this into the calculator. 
moving this over here. And again, I do want parentheses so I can do this all together. So 50 times 3,600 divided by 5,280. And I end up with 34.0909. So we could call that 34.1. If you wanted a fraction, you could go math, convert to fraction, and that would give you um, the fraction form instead. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 34.1. So 34.1 miles per hour or MPH.